what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we are less than six months away now from the release of halloween kills and i know we were supposed to get this movie last october but we're gonna get it this october if nothing else happens we're supposed to be getting it this october bearing nothing else of course leads to it being delayed uh this video i'm just going to be going back over a recap kind of of everything we have come to know about the film and what we can expect and kind of touch on some of my expectations that i have now that we're this close away from the film some other things i have to do like when i think a first trailer will come out not the first trailer well actually in this case this would be the first trailer because the other ones have just been small teasers so already from the start we know that we'll have jamie lee curtis back we know that we're going to be getting uh judy greer andy matichak the strolled women the three strong legacy strolled women are going to be back in the fold we know that we're expecting Lori strolled as a character to take a back seat and let allison strolled carry the film uh and then her mother karen will be there with her as well and the mob mentality is expected to be a big factor in how things progress in this film leading us into the events of halloween ends we also know that this will be taking place on the same night of the events of halloween 2018 and i think that's going to be the same thing they're going to try to do with halloween ends so when we are all said and done we'll have a we'll have a set of three films that all take place in the same night which i think is a pretty cool idea in and of itself and that's easily something that can happen the, the, the events that happen in one night might be a little far-fetched for people when they go back and re-watch them but depending on how it's portrayed on screen all of this stuff can happen in one night so going to what else we know we know that we're going to be have some returning characters coming back little Lindsay wallace uh who's all grown up now of course at this point tommy doyle marion chambers is going to be back and i believe uh, that's really all. Oh, and Julian from the 2018 film, the kid who had everyone laughing, if you love that character. Some people thought that his comedy was a bit out of place, but that character will be back. Uh, the return of Haddonfield Memorial, since we know we're going to be going to that hospital, we're going to see Michael Myers escape from the trap Lori set for him at the end of the 2018 film. We know that the mask is going to be slightly burned. They've released a lot of images of it, not a lot of images, but just a lot of images of Michael Myers in this film. We know that the Myers house is gonna be back too. And I've actually stated that I believe that's where the film will end. I think that what will be the final shot of the film will be Allison Strode screaming when she comes up to the top of her, which when she's at the, I think that the image that we've seen of Allison Strode screaming at the bottom of what looks like a flight of stairs, that's in the Myers house. And I think she's looking up at the shape who's standing at the top of the stairs, exiting his sister's old room or some type of room in the house. Not his sister's old room because Judas room wouldn't be placed there. But he's exiting some room in the house where I'm going to assume Karen has just been killed. And that that'll be how the film ends with Allison screaming, traumatized, knowing that her mother just died. So I think that's going to be a very sick way to end the film. Very climb, very heart wrenching way to end the film, too uh the shape comes out on top once again he didn't come out on top per se in the last film so i think it'd only be fair with the strolled women coming out on top in the last film halloween 2018 michael myers should come out on top in this one kind of like godzilla versus kong how they were one up in each other and then they'll have the tiebreaker with halloween ends so i think that's exactly what's gonna happen michael myers will get the final laugh at the end of the film i think that's a very unique way to end it very heart-wrenching or very heartfelt and sad way to end with Karen dying. I know there's a lot of you who love that character played by Judy Greer. I honestly think she's going to bite the dust and that's just going to be another thing that'll make the impact of what happens next in Halloween ends that much stronger. We know we're going to be getting flashbacks going back to 1978 showing us another returning character that I forgot to mention amongst the other list of people from the 78 film little Lonnie Lonnie Liam who I believe bullied Tommy in the original film if I'm not mistaken he was one of the kids that bullied Tommy and we're gonna see Tommy and his interaction not Tommy but Lonnie and his interaction with the shape on the night of the 78 events so a lot of stuff to expect and as far as like when I think a trailer will be coming out I honestly think that with the film being less than six months away, I'm going to go out and say that the trailer will come out sometime in June. The trailer will come out sometime in June, and then we'll just have July, August, and September. And then, of course, the film will be here in October. And what's amazing about this, honestly, is that the movie being delayed really hasn't stopped them from 
Well, I I, I want to say it's, of course, changed the marketing tactics they're going to use or that they had in place when it was originally supposed to come out last year. But they've done a very good job keeping it in our face, keeping it in uh, the public eye, keeping it relevant, keeping us updated. And a lot, of course, a lot of that is, is attached to the fact that fans of this franchise, fans of Michael Myers, constantly digging for things to look up and share amongst ourselves share to the masses who might have missed the things that we have just discovered so i'm really looking forward to halloween kills can't wait to see how it bridges into halloween ends uh allison getting her getting her little final girl role or narrative told i think the beginning stages will start here and then what will happen is she'll get her conclusion in halloween ends with presumably either the death of Lori Strode or a scene that makes it look like Lori dies, which leaves the shape and Allison alone. And Allison would be the one to take Michael Myers out in Halloween ends. Now, I know a lot of people would argue it should be Lori Strode. But again, I, th I honestly think the, the whole point here is about the, 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 the legacy of these three women. And I, I think it would be a better story to tell and it would make more sense to me if it's the youngest of the group that comes out on top as a reference to the fact that this is all stemming from Lori, who was traumatized by her events from the 78 film. And now all these years later, her trauma and her obsession over it turned out to be rightfully so because the shape did come back. But then we now have Allison, who's right here in the thick of things, going through something similar to what her grandmother went through 40 years ago. And she's going to be the one coming out on top saying, you know what? I'm not going to be a victim like my grandmother was to the memory of the shape. I'm going to get the final say. I'm going to come out on top and I'm going to put it into this once for all, not only for myself and my mother, who you just killed, presumably if Karen dies, but also for my grandmother, who we will think died. But I don't think Lori Strode... Well, the, depending on how it's done, Lori should only die if it involves her and Michael dying together. That's how I see it. That's how I would only want to see it. If it happens another way, then so be it. But I would prefer to see her die yet yet again if it's with her and Michael Myers together. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.